G'day, Anthea here for Ants Pants Pantry. It's been a while, um, but uh, I've finished filming what I want to film from the basic cookbook for now. And uh, because it's December, I thought I'd try something out of the festive um, cooking chip and book. So I'm going to do some steamed puddings today, which I haven't done before. And uh, in preparation for Christmas, we'll see how they turn out. This is the festive flavour chip, uh, so I'll put that on the side and that means I can now see recipes from that chip. Let's look it up by A to Z. It's steamed. They're the ones, steamed chocolate and prune. Puddings. Okay, so I have um, checked through the ingredient list and I realised I didn't have any ground cloves. So I've uh, popped some whole cloves in there. I'll just mill them quickly and then I'll have all of the ingredients that I need. my recipe and mill it on uh, speed 10. There we go, that was 20 seconds and uh, that saved me trying to work with the whole cloves. So I'll take that out and get started again on the recipe. There we go, I've scraped the bowl out. What's next? Let's go back to the recipe. Okay. Interesting thing here, it says it makes 18 portions and um, uh, we're steaming them in the Varoma. All right, 50 grams of dark chocolate. That ended up being uh, seven pieces of the type of chocolate that I had uh, because six wasn't enough. You can never have too much chocolate. And we'll chop that at speed nine for five seconds. I've taken that out and put it aside for now. Next step, put in the pitted prunes, rich and delicious, 250 grams of that. And chop them up for three seconds. So we need to scrape them right down. Next step is add some water. Carb soda. Two minutes on speed one. Well, that was cooking gently for a couple of minutes. Uh, I will just scrape it all together and then we need to put it into the same bowl as the set aside chocolate. There we are. I'm glad it fits. And I'm glad I've got a bigger bowl than the one I started with. All right, next step. Softened butter, that's 125 grams of butter, already starting to melt in the warm bowl. 200 grams of brown sugar, mm, smells like treacle. Insert the magic. Ten seconds on speed five. Break down the sides. Lovely. Thank you. 
the three eggs. And 200 grams of self rising flour. Oh, yep. Okay, so now we add the spices cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. All right. All in. Add the reserved chocolate prune mixture. And then I think we mix it. All right, I'm going to scrape that out. All right, that's better. Didn't want to waste any of that delicious mixture. And, yep, then we mix it all up for five seconds. Then we scrape down the sides again. Oh, yes, some of that flour needs to be incorporated, so that's a good idea. was only five seconds on speed four after all that's not very long another five seconds Transfer the batter into 18 silicon cupcake moulds and fill them up to three quarters full. All right. Then clean and dry the mixing bowl. Okay. Now I've only prepared nine because I don't have 18 cupcake moulds. And one of the variations of the recipe is to simply put it into a bowl and cook it in the oven. You know, the mixture can be done either way. So I'm going to put the rest of the mixture into a bowl and put it in the oven. And so I'll have some steamed and some baked. Seems to make quite a lot of mixture. Not sure how I would get all of that that's in the bowl into another nine cupcake holders. Um, so the next thing I have to do is um, wet some baking paper and rest that on top. Uh, arrange the other five cupcakes onto the um, the aroma tray and put a piece of baking paper on that and then they get steamed and uh, the one for the oven gets cooked for half an hour and then some aluminium foil put on top of it to stop it from going crusty I suppose um, and just baked until it's baked through so I'll show you that. I've cut the edges off that piece because I want to make sure the steam comes up through the holes and gets into the top layer as well. Now you might remember that I'm filming myself making something for the first time so there's a few things that I'm not sure about. I've filled the cups to what I think might be uh, three quarters full, but because I don't know how much they're gonna rise, I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know how the mixture will turn out or if I've done everything right or not. So that's the adventure of doing something and showing you what it's like to read a recipe and try and work out how to do it in the best way the first time. You'll be able to find out from my experience what works and what doesn't. I've done the same thing here with this piece of baking paper. I've cut the corners off and just like the layer underneath, you have to put a piece of paper towel over the top. And put the aroma lid on. Then uh, having cleaned the bowl, uh, we put some water in it and get the steaming going. Nice clean bowl. One litre of water. Put the varoma into position. Oh, yep, yeah, I've already arranged the silicon moulds in there. And set the other side. Put the wet and well wrung baking paper and a piece of paper towel on top of the puddings in the Varoma dish and tray, which I did. Then put the lid on, 
and steam for 18 minutes. There it is, all set up, ready to go. That's 18 minutes worth. The instructions say you steam them for another two minutes if uh, you like, if they're not cooked. So, oh, they're gorgeous. I've got my skewer here to uh, test them. It's come out clean. I reckon they're done. Woohoo! All right, I'll let them cool down a little bit. Um, what does it say here? Remove them, put them in a thermal serving bowl to keep warm until you serve, and then put the other nine in. Okay. Serve the puddings warm. All right. There they all are, and uh, the one in the oven has been in for 30 minutes. I'm just going to put some alfoil over it and put it back in for another 30 minutes. And I've got one just about ready to try. All right, time to test. And of course, if you want to serve it at Christmas time with a brandy cream, you can. There's a couple of recipes for brandy cream on the chip. One's made with um, cow's milk and cream, and another one is made with cashews, uh, which is good for vegans. Um, or lactose intolerant and I've just popped a bit of whipped cream on there uh, for today just for the taste test it's really nice it's really really nice mm, that's a winner it's soft delicious fluffy it's great all right bon appetit